gentleman from Fayette and Washington County, Representative Cook. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Also, I want to thank you for your years of service. I am a hunter, and we love it out there. Uh, also, a comment on pheasants in the classroom. We have a uh, school district now that has um, adopted fish in the classroom, mm -hmm. and that's resulted in the children actually asking if they can grow pheasants in the classroom. So it does have a good effect as far mm -hmm. as license goes. Um, and I kind of lost track of the um, the progress. Uh, could you update us where we are with automat regards to automatic weapons for hunting? Mm -hmm. Certainly can. Um, at the January commission meeting, the uh, board, uh, they were proposed regulations, they passed those. Uh, basically, semi-automatics would be lawful for use for small game, fur bearers, predators, uh, and also big game. Um, there are some caliber restrictions for small game, uh, fur bearers, and predators. For big game, there's no caliber restrictions other than for elk which it's gotta be 27 uh, caliber or greater. Um, the, there is a magazine restriction for big game, which would be five in the magazine and one in the chamber for a total of six rounds uh, for a semi-automatic. Uh, that will go up for final adoption in, at the end of March at the March-April commission meeting. 